Okay, folks, we're going to put a myth to bed here. Uh, I got the camera on my fire pit. And you really can't see it right now, but there you go. What you got there is your typical, very thin, cheesy plastic water bottle sitting on an obvious bed of coals. Now, um, to prove that it's hot, I'm going to take this little piece of wood that I've shaved off. I'm going to throw it right. Just make sure I can get it, please. Right there. And maybe I need to throw some more in there. But you'll see it smoking. No, it's not going to flame up. <laughs> that didn't do what I wanted it to. I wanted it to flame. So let's throw some in here. Let's throw a little stick in there. Helicopter coming over. I'm going to assume that you understand that that's a better cause. Okay? And that water bottle is not going anywhere. I'm boiling water in a plastic container. A very cheap plastic container. Okay? Now, if you were in a survival situation and you had this plastic bottle, you could boil an amount of water equal to the capacity of that container. It's going to ruin this container. Okay, no doubt. This is a one shot deal. Once that water boils, I need to pull it off the fire, and that container is probably not going to be able to be used again. It may. There's a chance I may be able to use that again. But there's a big chance I'm not going to be able to. It's already starting to get some bubbles going in it. But I'm going to keep this rolling until we get a rolling boil inside that water. And while it sits here, I'm going to go in there and get in the house and get a pair of tongs just so I can pull it off and show you afterwards that you can boil water in a container like this. I'll be right back. You just keep watching. Okay. Now I can see it, but let's hit it with the lights. You can see it. it's not under the rolling bullet yet. But what's gonna okay, here we go. Water's starting to come out. I don't know if you can hear that. It's starting to come up to the top. I didn't have it filled up all the way, I had it about inch inch and a half down from the bottom but it's starting to boil so of course it's rising and the bubbles are coming up now the issue you run into here is I may have had it too full but what can happen is, is, if you do something like this, the water that's boiling up and out can put out the coals that are underneath it. So basically it's defeating the purpose. It's putting out the coals that are heating it up. But I think i got a good enough bed where it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue going until it gets to a good rolling boil. It's just very slowly trickling out. So if you ever need to do this in a situation, you don't want to fill it up all the way. Keep in mind that once you get water to a rolling boil, it is disinfected. Okay, you're not going to have any bacteria in there. Look at the label. The label's starting to burn away, but the plastic that the bottle, the plastic bottle, is still 100% intact. There is no water leaking out of that. Again, 
Probably going to be a one-shot deal. But that's a good amount of water right there. I just, I got to keep flashlight on. Look at that. I'm going to move the camera in so you can see it. It is now at a rolling point. See that? Plastic water bottle. Now, here's a trick. He's getting that thing off the fire because it is very... Oops. Yeah, see, that's what you got to watch out for. The bottom's all contorted or twisted. All right, hang on, let me get this to where it won't fall down. There we go. Okay, this isn't the best camera work in the world. I understand that. I really wasn't planning to do this. But there you go. Now you've got disinfectant water. Okay. So anybody that ever tells you you can't boil water in a container like that, now you can tell them they're wrong. See ya.